Hello everyone, Pockets here, back again playing some Reeve Online. This is part two of my starting out in Abyssal Dead Space, uh, preparation for the 29th, which by the time you see this will be less than four days away, maybe a little more. So in the first episode we of this series, of this part, we did the Vexer, 70 mil for a Vexer, showed you to rent a complete site, just made it, had a bit of struggles, uh, it was a lot of fun. This time, as I said, due to most of my people either being Galente, and those that aren't Galente trained are Kaldari uh, defectors coming to the Galente side. Um, most of my guys are going to be able to fly either the Vexor or the Caracal, so here we are doing a Caracal. Now I'll show you the fit, and then we're going to get into it. I did not bring a filament, so we'll have to get a filament, but I'll show you the fit first. <laughs> Alright, so in the highs, I have prototype Arbless Rapid Light Missile Launchers. Again, I could have gone T2, but I wanted to keep this very alpha friendly, very new player friendly, and affordable. Although I think these are actually more expensive than the Tech 2s, but... So, full rack of those, five. Uh, loading them with Scourge Light Missiles, uh, mostly just because I'm too lazy to buy the other ones. And I fly a lot of Scourge, so I have them. In the mids, we have a 10 Mega Newton Afterburner. So we saw how the Micro Warp Drive worked in the other one, we're going to try an Afterburner here. Uh, this one is a passive tank. I have run into nuding in the past, so I figured a nice passive tank should do us quite well. It gives me about the same recharge rate as my armor repping, not quite, but very close. Uh, so two large shield extender twos. If you're not flying tech two tank, you shouldn't be <laughs> flying in missions and stuff anyways. Tech two tank isn't that hard of a train, so do tech two tank. It's totally worth it. Uh, two passive hardeners, one EM, one thermal, just to fill the gaps in the shield resists. Because you never know what you're going to face. Uh, damage control just for that extra 13%. I just felt I needed it because they're pretty low. Three times ballistics control systems to give us our DPS 319. And the mids are three defense field purges. So this is very similar to my Gila. Although my Gila fits one more extender and active modules most of the time. And doesn't need the damage control. Very similar fit to my Gila, and it seems to work quite well. I have done the Abyssal Spaces at least three times in this bit, and I haven't lost one yet. For the drones, I'm just keeping with the Kaldari flavor and bringing some Tech 2 Hornets. Uh, most of your DPS doesn't come from those. I usually use them to whip after the final thing to get the loot. But that's the fit. It's 33 million, so it's like half of what the Vexor cost me. And again, these numbers will change once it's live on CC. And I think we're going to fly it in the Octopus Red Flight skin just because I have it. I did notice, just on a, a whim here, or on a side note, a new skin. I don't know what it's from, but it's called Ghost Bird. White and red. It looks pretty cool. Uh, no way to get it. And then the Orange Flight we've already seen, but I don't have that one. So we're going to keep this one. I could go with the IGN. I like it too. Blue and orange. And white is kind of my colors. Actually, yeah, let's do that. Channel colors. Blue and orange. There we go. So let me pop over here. I'm going to pick up a filament, bring you guys back once I have it. All right, we're back. I picked up. I just had from one of my other runs, I had one sitting in the inventory. So I just grabbed that. I did have a Calm ga Gamma. This is actually going to work out to be the best option for this fit. And I'll show you why. So the Gamma Ray Afterglow. This is a Calm, so it's tier one. It gives a bonus to shield hit points, which is going to help our regenerate. And a penalty to explosive resistance, which we're already stronger in anyways. Uh, it's like our strongest resist. Well, it was before resist, before we added the mods. But so it's going to bring that down a bit. But it is going to boost our base shields, which is going to help our passive regen. If I remember, I will bring up the fitting window when we're in the site. See how that looks. But let's just get into it now. I remember, we do have to move. I do like the new Caracal. I have one that I fly just for fun regularly. Here we go. So again, the, dr the drones don't do a whole lot in this fit. They're there mostly to go off and kill the uh, the loot pinata while I close the distance. And they help out against some against targets, but they're not that much DPS. I think they had like 50 DPS or something, not even. All right, so we're going to do a quick... What do we have? What is this? Okay, session changing, okay. All right, so we have drones. Do we have any clouds? We don't today. Do we have any... Multi-body tracking, so none of this is going to help us. Let's start closing towards the gate then. And we'll just have to take them out raw. I'll do another scan once I've got them targeted. We can shoot up to 55, so I'm going to start shooting them as soon as they're in range. Or as soon as I locked it. 
We'll probably get our drones out, but let me just get them engaged on me first. Sort of committed. Yeah, I don't see any clouds. What's that? That's the sun. Very beautiful, though. The spikes and stuff. Nice. That's a bonus to tracking, so that would help in a different ship. It doesn't help with missiles, but you can see I'm not having too much trouble with these drones anyways. So I figured I'm just going to orbit this at, like, 5,000. Actually, we'll orbit this at 5. And we'll just keep this up. Now, we are going to run out. So while we have these guys busy, let's get some drones on them just for a hot second to help us out. Because we are going to have to reload, which is going to be the longest thing with this fit, as is typical with rapid lights. And we're just going to watch for these guys to start yellow boxing us. As soon as they go yellow, we got to call our drones in, because we only have two. We don't want to lose them if we can help it. We pre-lock that, and here we go. So yeah, this doesn't have too much trouble against drones even now. Uh, because the nice thing is they only it's only their speed that matters. We'll get three off on that guy. He's now completely stopped for some reason, so that'll be a good time to hit him with some missiles. This guy's now speeding up. What's this guy doing? Okay, these guys are going to be a little harder. We'll take that one, that's where the drones went. And we're already orbiting this uh, cache. Yeah, there goes our missiles out, so we have to have a 30 second reload. Is it 30 seconds? Uh, reload, reload, reload. Where am I? Can I see reload? It's on here somewhere. Reload, 35 seconds. Uh, what are we doing? Drones are on them, that's still reloading, so we'll just orbit. Let's take a look. Oh, they're yellow boxing. Let's pull in our drones. So, yeah, you see we have 29 effective, we go up to 61 hit points per second, so this is the best possible one for this fit, I think. I'll just give them a second to come back and aggro us and put our drones back out. Just be a little careful with them, not like last time. There's our missiles back. Don't forget to recycle and we'll wipe out this last guy. They're traveling at a pretty good speed, but we're not having any trouble with these Kaldari Navy. Now, I wouldn't want to use Scourge against these. And so this is my thought when it comes to missiles, because you could use Precision against the drones and Scourge against the bigger stuff. But with a 35 second reload, it's, it's quite a reload chimes where the Navy version, the Navy variant, actually let's shoot this with the drones and we'll reload our missiles. Uh, the Kaldari Navy variant is kind of in the middle of the two and seem to work just fine. So, I mean, if you want to do T2 and T2 ammo, you can. The Precisions will, or should, oh no, no loot, uh, should do more damage to the drones. And the Scourge will do more damage to bigger targets. But I like to ride the middle and I just reload when I have to instead of... You know, because sometimes you do get drones and then a battleship, and you'd have to switch ammo, and... Ah, I just... That's no. It's just too long a reload time. Any other weapon system, absolutely go for T2 ammo if you can. Although, I mean, some of the T2 ammo also has tracking penalties when you need the other guns, so it's all personal preference at the end of the day. But we managed to do that first room in, like, four, three and a half minutes. So we have lots of time for the next two rooms. Let's see what we get. So we could run into trouble with cruisers. I don't think battleships are going to be an issue because we can speed tank them, and frigates and drones are obviously no problem. So here we go, cruisers, we're about to find out. So I'm going to go this way, let's get going, let's get these guys targeted up. What do we have? These are drifters, that's good. Well, wow. <laughs> Okay, we'll just get missiles and drones on these guys and we'll watch for yellow boxing, just like we did in the last room. And I think again, we're just going to orbit this at 5, because I don't see anything that's going to help us in this pocket either. There is a multi-body tracking, so that gives a tracking bonus to them, not to me, so we'll stay away from that as well. And we'll just see, yeah, we're making pretty short work. Tank is holding up just fine. So far the drones are holding too, which is nice. We might even get these guys down. Well, we probably have to reload once. I might cut my volleys short at 5, see what happens. See how that gets them down. We'll see if we can put five on the other one as well. No, it didn't quite do it. We're gonna have to pull, just pull it all in. Now, are they shield tanked? Yeah, the drones just don't quite do enough. You can see here of our DPS, the drones do 33 of it. So uh, we'll shoot the one and then we'll reload. It's fine. They are targeting my drones, so we'll have to keep an eye on this guy to see if he's getting hurt. We're gonna pull him back. See if we can't force him to retarget us. He's a little far away. We may have to bring both drones in. Does he swap the other drone? Is he hitting it? And we have one more room after this yet, so I don't want to lose my drones yet. Come on, reload, reload, reload. 
Let's get our drone. Okay, let's bring our drones in. We'll see if we can get them onto us. That's fine. Reload, reload, reload. We're almost there. Fly DPS. Come on. Do it. And you see, my tank is holding up no problem in these T1s, so I would be curious to see what these do in a T2. I probably won't do another CC video on this unless people really ask for it in the comments section over the next couple of days because I'm really excited about doing it live uh, with the risk and the, you know, you lose a ship, you lose the ISK. You know, there's no... I really want that edge. That's what I'm looking for. I want PvE and EVE to have that same edge that you get from PvP where there's a very good chance you're going to lose whatever it is. Okay, drones, can you take this out before you leave? Please and thank you. We'll reload this. All right, excellent. So we still have, so we can be a little careful in the next room. We still have 13 minutes. So if we need to, we have some room to be careful, depending on what we get. Uh, handled the cruisers pretty well. I'd be a little more worried about uh, Vedmax. NPC Vedmax might be, ooh, we got a decayed medium shield booster. So we could, we don't have a shield booster on this ship, but that's not bad. Be curious what those are gonna go for once we go live. Can I at least select the gate? I guess I could select it here. Those will be reloaded by the time we land. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. This is going quite well. It's actually might be nice. Well, I don't want to say anything yet. I'm not going to jinx it. Knock on wood. Oh, that jazz. And let's jump through this gate and do the final room. 13 minutes. So again, if we need to, we can dance around a bit. If we need to do some speed tanking or some sig tank or range tanking or whatever we need to do. We do have good range. 55 kilometers. And, oh, this shouldn't be... Okay, that's a little more scary. What's that? Multibody? We don't want that. Let's go orbit this again. Start targeting these things. Let's get these things dying. This is going to hurt a little bit because there's a lot of them. And these are Demovix. Striking, striking, striking. I don't see any... What might be Logis. So let's take out the Demovix. Uh, no, they're still not actually engaging on us. So I don't want to launch my drones. Do we have clouds we can use? Let's see. If that, that's not going to help us. Yeah, just no clouds in this map at all. That's That's been interesting. Okay. Not a problem. We're going to go ahead and orbit this at 5. And we'll just speed tank and missiles. We have 13 minutes, like I said. 12 now. So we should be alright. I'd like to get these guys actually on me. There's one down. Once there's nothing yellow, we will uh, pull out some drones as well. They do have a hate for drones, I've noticed. Even the mediums, although it seems to be more the lights. The lights seem to get really hated. This might actually take us a hot minute. I'll put these guys out while I'm not DPSing with my missiles. Ah, that's good. We'll see if they can take it. Watch for mass exodus of the red... Like, we still have these ones that aren't even targeting us, so we'll have to watch what happens here. I think we'll be okay now. We are now orbiting this. We're still at mostly good speed. Uh, the drones are whittling away on them. Missiles are almost there. Uh, we will get rid of that Demovic at some point. Really cool looking little frigate. Interesting. I still like the Vedmac the best out of all three. I just I think it's a very sleek looking cruiser. And I think even if it's not optimal, <laughs> I might still fly one in PvE just to do it. Uh, because look at those missiles, it looks really cool when you're hitting something fast. Oh, let's zoom out, that's really hard to see. Yeah, very cool. Okay, the drones are starting to take some heat, so let's pull them in. They should have been on this Vedmac, but they weren't. They went after whatever was targeting them, so that's fine. There goes the Vedmac we have, or Demovic. Gotta get used to saying those words. There we go. Oh, yeah. Let's wipe out these drones. Come on. Keep our drones in for a bit because they're not targeting you, buddy. Which means they were going after my drones. Let's see, one blast. Let's see how that does. One missile. Okay. So we're just going to. You know what I'm going to do? Just to conserve my reloads, I'm going to split this into. Ugh. Let's see how this works. One, two, three, four, five. Is it one missile? What does that get us? Okay. That was two missiles. Finish them off. I'm just trying to not have to get another reload if I can help it. I'm going to need to do one more set. Okay. 
Wah, 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 wah. Okay, one more on you. And then the full volley on this guy. And pull our drones out. There we go, that worked out quite well. It actually only took one full, yeah, we didn't even have to reload, but we're going to reload now. Put our drones on this. Beautiful. Lots of time. Yeah, there we go. Wipe them out. There we go, that's room three. Oh, wow. What a, what a, what a shitty sight. I mean, we got this. Well, maybe we'll go and use that. I'll buy a shield booster and see what we can get. But there we go, I just completed another T1 in a even cheaper cruiser. Um, I did run into a little more trouble. Let me think, because that was a while ago, because I did this one before I did the Vexer when I was doing my testing. Yeah, I don't think I ran into much trouble with this one in the T1s. This might be... I might have to take this one into a T2. I have a very similar fit already, but I want to bring a couple more in, because I'm sure I'm going to lose a couple once it's live. But there we have it. Let's get home. We'll see what we can get for the shield booster. Just because. It's fun. And we used 500 missiles. Well, more closer to 6, because I already had a full load, which is almost 100. 95 so I had a full load plus 2,000 so that shows you what we used all right we didn't even lose any drones this time that's good that was a good run so again this is just the start from here I'm gonna start figuring out texture twos I have a feeling I'll be able to use t1 cruisers for that but I'll probably switch to my Gila and risk it it's gonna depend on the value of the sites as well and what you can kind of pull out of them and what you can expect because if I can run them in a t1 that's like 30 or 40 million why use a 300 million and risk it? Uh, the tier threes, I have no idea what I'm going to do yet. I'm going to have to probably maybe do a Cerberus. I'd like I'd like a reason to fly a Cerberus anyway, so I'll probably do that. I can show you what I've pulled out. This is just since I started doing the testing in these two. So I've gathered all of this, uh, minus this obviously, all of this with just these two, the the uh, Caracal and the Vexer. Uh, and so that's not so bad. Again, whatever the, depending on what these become worth, that could be a lot. Could be not very much. Uh, this I already had. That is a small shield booster. Let's see what we can get for a medium shield booster. I'm just going to use a tech 2. Medium shield booster 2. Not extender. Uh, two. There it is. Let's buy up one of these and let's see if we can break it. Just as the end of this video. So there it is. We're going to use our Decayed. Use. This brings up an interface like this. You can kind of see what range is. You can get minus 20 up to plus 15. So most of them do have a higher chance of getting negative. Like you can see here, CP usage is more likely to get worse than it is to get better. Same with Power Grid. Shield Boost is nice. It's balanced the other way. Activation cost is uh, more balanced to getting bad. And yeah, so let's find out what we can get. And just more green is better, is what I say. Uh, that sucks. That's actually... Whew. Mm. See, because... So activation cost, every time it cycles, it's going to cost us five more gigajoules. And it's going to activate... Well, not much. 0 0.04 seconds faster. So it's going to actually cost us a lot more to run it, but we do get an extra couple hit points. What, 2.5%? Two, almost 3%. So, yeah, that's that. So I would say that's probably not a good one. I'm not overly excited about it, and that's just how it goes. I really do like this medium um, armor wrapper I did get. That's pretty cool. I'd like to get one of those on live. That would be decent, because you can see where it really matters. I got green, and then it's red in the fitting, which still fits on my Vexor, and even then, fitting's a little easier to work around. But there we have it. I'm really, 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 really looking forward to these coming out on Tuesday. Uh, the 29th of May. I'm pretty excited to go live with these and lose a bunch of ships and help people lose a bunch of ships and yeah. So if I don't do another video before Tuesday I will definitely do one on Tuesday and going live and seeing what we can do but until then folks if you like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you're new and you haven't already don't forget to subscribe as well and take care. I'm out of here. We'll see you on Tuesday.